125 million. That's how many Nintendo Switch consoles have been sold. So it stands to reason that 125 million Joy-Cons have been sold alongside that. There's a good chance that you watching this right now have a pair of Joy-Cons in your house. And there's also a good chance that you never noticed this little black bar at the bottom of the Joy-Con. What if I told you it's an IR reader that'll make unique new ways of playing games possible? This will make unique new control styles possible. The Switch has over 15,000 games in its library right now. So do you want to take a guess on how many of them use the IR reader? If you guessed 30, you were correct. Only 30 games in the entire library uses something that comes stock standard with every controller. And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, 30 games, that really isn't many. What if I told you I was lying? It's 11. So I think what I have to do now is obvious. I'm going to play every game that uses this camera. Funny enough, I'd already played a few of these games. The first one being Ring Fit. After every level you play, the game prompts you to check your heart rate with the bottom of the Joy-Con. This was just the start of me realizing how unique and how many different ways to play the IR Reader really does give you. Because no two games use this thing the same way. But how accurate is it at checking a human pulse. Only one way to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game for a little bit, get my heart rate up, and then I'm going to measure my heart rate using the IR reader. But I also bought this professional grade heart rate monitor. So we're going to see how close the IR reader actually is to a real accurate reading. Let's go. Let's get this heart rate up. I hope this level isn't too long. Wait, am I gonna, am I about to swim? Wait, that's the whole level? Okay, I'd be really annoyed if I was trying to work out right now. All right, we're starting again. Oh, so now it should ask for my heart rate. Yeah, check your pulse. I'm gonna put this on this hand and then do this on this hand. So that says my heart rate is 129, just dropped to 128. That says my heart rate's 134. I mean, obviously the more accurate actually designed to do this job device is gonna be the better one, but that's close enough, baby. It was in the ballpark. I was actually pretty impressed by the IR motion camera reader in Ring Fit, but we were only just beginning. This next game, I had never heard of this before and it makes zero sense to me. It's called Identify My Dinner. The game claims that if you hold the IR reader next to any plate of food, it'll tell you exactly what's on the plate. There is absolutely no way this works, but I have prepared a plate of food, so I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, here we go. It's scanning, it's reading, Match found. Wait, that actually worked. How is that? That's so specific. How is that even possible? How did it know I was sponsored by Factor? Because I'm watching you at all times, Wood. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. Look, let me tell you a little something about Factor. I use it every single week. If you're too busy this fall to cook, but want to make sure that you're still eating well, with Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store because they'll deliver these meals, fresh, never frozen, chef prepared meals that are dietitian approved straight to your doorstep. I also have never had their cold pressed juices before. This one's apple, kale, and wheatgrass. Yeah, it's actually better than I expected when I heard wheatgrass. I like this. Factor's meals are ready in just two minutes. I can't hold this microphone and eat this. There are over 34 weekly flavor-packed meals. They have keto, chef's choice, calorie smart, vegan and veggie options. I always go for calorie smart because they're like all the 500 calories for the entire plate of food. It's so good, but it's easy to keep track of my calories. I'm not even kidding. This is, I think the best one. This is not a bit. I think this is the best one I've ever had. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BEATEMUPS50 to get 50% off your first box. I can't wait to try more of these juices. I wonder if the IR reader will detect the juice. Match found.
This game isn't real. I, I made this one up. You want to see a real one? Let's get to it. Because <laughs> next was Resident Evil Revelations 1. Apparently, you can use it to reload your gun. The game never tells you that you can do it this way, which is wild to me because it's one of the 11 games that use it, and it's almost like they were trying to hide the fact that, you, that it even exists. So you're supposed to be able to shoot a reload. Oh, that's actually sick. How quick can I do that? Yeah, it's super quick and responsive. Ooh, that one didn't work. Did you catch that? Hmm. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Okay, well, I'll give it a pass. <laughs> We're two for two. Both of these uses of the IR reader worked great. I'm sure it can only get better from here. It doesn't. Spy alarm. The idea, I suppose, is that you would set this up at night and point the Joy-Con in the doorway, and then if someone tries to break in and get you, it would set off the alarm and let everybody know that there's an intruder. Couple of small gripes. The switch needs to be on the entire time. You can't lock it or else it stops working. So I think the only way of actually testing if this thing is going to save my life in a perilous situation is to recreate that exact event. Okay, so here's the plan. I have a spy alarm over there. Okay. You're gonna try and sneak up on me. Okay. And if I detect you, I win. And if you can beat the spy alarm, you win. Okay. You're gonna look the part of a burglar. And I had a black burglar mask mm. and I lost it. So here's a <laughs> green one. I need you to go around this corner. I'm gonna set this up, activate. The device is on. You gotta get me. If I get you, I win. I'm actually getting really scared. Okay. It sucks. It doesn't work the best. All right, let's try. No, it did. Yeah, because I walked fast. I went like this the whole time. Oh. This time, let's assume the burglar isn't a cartoon character from the 50s. All right. Ow. Oh, Jesus. This thing is not working. I literally think. <laughs> It only has a distance of being able to pick things up of about like... <laughs> oh, it's not activated that time. Oh, you fool. Activate your alarm if you don't want to get got. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I mean, I know the Switch's speakers are what they are, but it's really not that loud. Well, note to self, don't use this as a home alarm system. And that's what I would look like if I ever tried using this thing to arm my house. Dead. That didn't work. We're two for three. I mean, it was shovelware. What did you expect? Did you know? Because I certainly didn't. Ninjala uses the IR reader. It's a free to play Nintendo Switch exclusive game. It reminds me of Splatoon in its vibes. You run around and you whack people with things. That's a bad review. I probably have a better video of that on my channel. It really doesn't matter though, because you don't use the IR reader in the game. You use it as a QR scanner on Ninjala trading cards that give you in-game items and cosmetics. Uh huh. Sadly though, they don't make these Ninjala trading cards anymore, and I don't think they even ever released outside of Japan. I tried to find some online, but 10 packs cost $50. Yeah, I'm not going to do that just for a silly video on YouTube. <laughs> is what I would say if I didn't already do that. I spent $50 on this. <laughs> I'm gonna try and open it as carefully as possible. Whoa, look at that. It was horrible. It's like I'm just tearing money. Oh, yo, these cards are actually kind of sick though. So I got a Trick Bull Red and then a Scrap Saber Super Robot. I wonder if you get what's on the cards or if it's totally random. All right, I think it was in settings. Ninjala code. This is a whole new use for the IR reader. Scanning code cards. All right, let's start with the non-gold. I don't know how to hold it. Do I get closer maybe? Oh yeah, oh, I see it. Oh, it worked. Card successfully read. Beginning gum break challenge. Oh, wait. No, I got to do something. Break the gum with perfect timing. Oh, what? Okay. All right. That, I mean, that, that was easy. Clear. You got 500 bonus tier points. I mean, that's kind of...
kind of fun. You actually get to play a little mini game to kind of win your item. All right, let's go see what I got from those two. Oh yeah, gun break challenge reward. Scrap gum, super robot. Yeah, I do get what I pull. Equipment. Yeah, there it is. That's it. I don't know if it's like rare or if it has good stats or anything. I'm not really a ninjala guy, but that's cool. I actually really like these cards and I'm gonna keep them and find a way to display them or just keep them safe. I really wish more games had utilized the camera in this way. I know we have amiibos where you can scan in these figures to get in-game rewards, but why not get more trading cards that you can scan in rewards for? But alas, I don't think Nintendo really cares for the IR reader, which is wild to me. They seem to care about it so much. They thought it was so cool and they barely even gave it a chance. Maybe that was because of 1-2-Switch. 1-2-Switch had a plethora of mini games, each less fun than the last, but the one that we're gonna be looking at is the only one that uses the IR reader and that Subway munching stuff. And that's what I'm calling it. I actually have good memories of this one. Kim and I had just really started dating when the Switch came out and I remember playing this exact sandwich eating IR game with her pop and Kim and me and it's one of my most fondest memories of just the three of us being goofy and <laughs> but since that memory is only up here and can't be visualized on camera, Kim and I are gonna have to redo it. Oh, Kim! Are you ready? Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. What do you mean? I have no idea what this is. You didn't tell me what oh, it is. Oh, it's one, two, switch. Uh... You remember that guy? <laughs> oh, God, no. Are you ready? Never, but go on. This is the best use of this they ever did. <laughs> oh, it's not going! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Seven and a quarter. That just said the Joy-Con gets dirty, wipe it off. <laughs> I hate it so much. You're doing it with no teeth. You're like a grandma that lost their dentures. <laughs> Five. Well, how was that? Horrible. I don't think this one works very well. It doesn't seem to be super receptive and picking up every munch and crunch. I think 1-2-Switch is what scared Nintendo away from ever using the IR reader again. Thankfully, there are some other companies picking up that slack, though, because next we have Night Vision. It's another shovelware game, just like Spy Alarm, but this time it lets you see in the dark. Although not really, though. So, clearly... Oh, sorry, hold on, let me talk into the camera. Clearly, for night vision, there's only one way to test it. <laughs> it is very dark in here. I can't see much of anything. I'm gonna see if I can find Dala in the dark. Okay, so here she is. All right, Dala, I need you to hide. I'm gonna stand over here in this corner and count to 10 and then see if I can... Oh, you have to, you have to hide. I can find you too easy if you're here. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four. I know you're right behind me. You are the worst hider in the world. That test might not work. It is kind of cool though. There's my table leg. I can kind of read in the dark, not very well. Uh, oh, that says doom. Gamer subs, use code beat em up. Okay, that's horrible. You can't see that at all. The reflection is ruining that. This one's kind of a dud, but also kind of cool. If I was a kid and I had a switch and I could kind of see in the dark, I could see myself having some semblance of fun. I'm not a kid though. I'm almost 33. I kind of feel like that money could have been spent on a coffee. Moving on. The game that uses the IR motion camera more than any other game is Nintendo Labo. When I built it way back when the game came out, there's a little remote controlled car. And not only does it use the HD rumble to steer, it uses the IR motion camera as a camera that you see on the Switch while you're steering. But also, Labo has a whole creator tech thing side of it where you could make your own games. If you want an example of this, I found a video online of someone who is very smart. He built Luigi's poltergeist vacuum cleaner. The IR motion camera is at the top of the vacuum cleaner and when he points it towards the ghosts around his house that he made, it detects them and gives him points. I mean, that is brilliant. Sadly, I've told this story a bunch. My house flooded and all my labor was on the floor and as cardboard do when it 
gets wet, everything's gone. There's about two seconds of footage of this remote control car in a video that I made from back then. So rather than me going online and buying another Labo kit, I guess that footage is just going to have to do for now is what I would say if I didn't spend $100 on more labor. If you thought this overpriced cardboard was expensive before, now you can't seem to get it anymore and it's double the price. Yay. Oops, oh, oops. I just poked out a pot. That's for you guys, I guess. All right, let's get to work. There we go. Now this, I remember really, really impressed me. Hey, 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 look at him go. I'm gonna drive him towards you guys. It's so loud. We haven't even got to the IR reader, which is here now. It's in the middle of the screen and it's a camera. It feels like they're pushing this camera to the limits with just cranking up the brightness so you can actually see ahead of you. This I never actually did, but can it detect these things? Oh, <gasps> no way. Wait, wait, wait. I had no idea it could do this. It follows the thing. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like every time I try out a new thing with this IR reader, I am floored by how cool it is and the weird and wonderful things that it can do. Okay, yeah, Labo is great and all that, but have you heard of Game Builder Garage? Nintendo has a fixation on releasing video games that we just have to make ourselves. Labo, Game Builder Garage, Mario Maker. I think Nintendo's at the point where they've made so many games, they just would rather we do it. This game is complicated as hell. I'm having an easier time learning Japanese. Although, Omoshiroi des. It's interesting. So before I try making my own thing, I downloaded a bunch of other people's creations and I downloaded GTA 5. Well, it's more like GTA 1. Ugh, what? Ugh. Doom Eternal is on here as well, which dare I say, even better than the actual port of Doom Eternal. Huh? This was actually one of the better ones that I found. And you thought you couldn't play the PlayStation PT demo anymore? Well, guess again, Jesus. I mean, it's perfect recreated. Oh, and Nintendogs. More like Ninten. what the heck is this? Potande sute ikuzuka mara. Ooh, camera. <laughs> I have no idea what the rest says, but that last bit says camera. None of these use the IR reader. I was trying to find something that did and I couldn't. So we're just gonna have to make our own. So I made a level and here's what it is. It's my beat-em-ups logo with a little man. I've set it to the IR reader. So when it detects just any kind of motion, the guy will jump. And the idea is you have to get from one side of the logo to the other without touching the imaginary hot lava. Yeah, look, it's not fun, but neither is Fallout 76, and that's a whole ass game. Game Builder Garage is one of the two games that doesn't really use the IR reader. It just allows you to access it. And another one of those is Smile Basic 4. I know, huh? I'd never heard of this either, but it looks like an actual programming tool on the Switch. It gives me a headache even even looking at it, but look at it, we're gonna have to, because I wanna try and find a game on here that someone has made that uses the IR reader. But there is hundreds of created games on here, and I have no idea which ones use the IR reader. There's also, as far as I can see, no search option in here, so I'm just gonna have to start downloading things at random. HD Rumble test. The HD Rumble is so precise, they can actually play music. Right now, my Joy-Cons are playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle. That was so much fun. It almost takes the sting out of the fact that apparently I can only download one thing a day and I wasted it on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> it won't let me download any other games unless I buy the server ticket. It's a one-time purchase and apparently it lets me download unlimited amounts. Why are things the way they are sometimes? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've been scrolling for about 30 minutes and I don't see anything that looks like it might use the IR reader. Oh, wait, what's- Wait, I can't search specifically, but I can search by genre, and tools is a genre. And sure enough, someone has made their own heart monitor. Yeah, akin to the Ring Fit, which is good, because even though I haven't been working out, after trying to find something in this stupid app for the last hour and having to spend $5, I'm very stressed out. Okay. 
Okay. According to this, which I'm sure I can trust, I'm not gonna die now. Anyway, that simple basic four and also $30 that I'll never get back again. Yeah, no, that last one definitely gave me a headache. I I I'm gonna need uh, medicine or vitamins or something, which is lucky because the next game is called Vitamin Connection. This is the first game on the list that I had never heard of before, which is funny because it's developed by Way Forward, who previously made 37 Shantae games. This one reminds me of Snipper Clips in the way that it uses just all of the Joy-Con features. I thought I had to play through this whole game to unlock the one mini game that uses the IR reader. I was wrong. It was right there on the home screen the whole time. I could have played it right from the start, but instead I slogged through an hour of vitamin connection to unlock the mini game. That shows how much I'm committed to making this video. Every single use of this reader has been so different, but in this one, you move it closer and further away from your hand to control a grabby hand that will move at the same rate on the screen to grab things. Miyamoto be damned! This actually works really well. I have absolutely no gameplay complaints with how this feels to control. The only thing preventing me from winning this mini game is the amount of enemies on screen and the fact that it just seems completely random and trying to find a gap in between any of this is different every time and impossible. Good luck speedrunning this one, Dream. Believe it or not, that's 10 games. Most of the IR capable library on the Switch is only one more. Brain training. My brain didn't hurt enough. Let's put it to the test with some math. Okay, there's a few different games here. There's quick brain age check, finger calculations, and finger drills. Let's find out how old this game thinks I am. Oh, we're already going. I'm not ready. Try to lose. Okay. Ooh, that's hard. Try to win. Uh, paper. No, it's gonna think I'm so old. Try to lose. Paper. Try to win. Rock. Try to lose. Rock. It's gonna think I'm so dumb. Try to win. Rock. Uh, rock. No, scissors. Okay. It definitely thinks I'm like 60. 20 is the best possible score. I'm really nervous. <laughs> No, I'm not that old. No shot an 80 year old is even figuring this out, you liar. Finger calculations is the next one. Calculate the number of fingers using the hand signs zero to five as fast as you can. Four, five, four, two, three, two, four, two, three, four, two, three. Tell me my brain age now. Oh, I went at driving speed? I guess that's fast. All right, and then finger drills. Oh, okay. I mean, it might take practice to get good. You know what's really hard? Talking and doing it. Not bad. Driving speed again. This 80 year old has had enough of this for one day. And that is all 11 games that use the IR readers. Okay, believe it or not, there was 11 IR games for Switch. And there has been for the last couple of years. And then we just had a Nintendo Direct. Nintendo themselves apparently remembered this exists all of a sudden and added IR to WarioWare. I'm actually live on Twitch right now. Say hi, everybody. Say hi to you. YouTube. I'm gonna play the trumpet game right now on Twitch with all these fine people. I'm gonna see how that goes. As far as the WarioWare game, it looks like it's exactly the same as the brain training game where you hold up your fingers and do fingy stuff. That sounds wrong, but I've already done that in the brain training game and I don't wanna have to wait till November to release this video, so. Can you just give me a pass on that one? Trumpet man. Move your hand in front of the IR camera to mimic real trombone. Oh, like this? You gonna pretend like I'm blowing? That does not look right. That does not, that does not. We are going to go this way for the purpose of recording. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Okay, it kind of works. I'm actually impressed, kind of. Nasty, it's saying nasty. Oh, nasty. F. <laughs> I get a single point? Oh my god. That's impossible. Stars and stripes. Let's go right now. <coughs> I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> it's hard to explain because it's actually really precise. It's too smooth and it doesn't snap the way that it needs to to hit these notes. It is fun though. And I'm really glad they included it as an option because it's goofy and it's hilarious. That's Trombone Champ, a late addition to this video. So what have I learned?
knowledge. I have the motion skills and the brain intelligence of an 80 year old and I can barely do one level of ring fit without getting pooped. The IR reader was marketed as a unique device that was going to expand the way that we control video games. And for the most part, it did that. It only did it 11 times, but every time was certainly unique. But almost every use of the IR reader had an easier and more accessible way of doing it instead. So while it is unique, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to implement it. I feel like I want this video to have a point or to mean something, you know? Like the IR reader was a metaphor for all of us all along. Sometimes it feels like we all have something that we don't use often, but when we do, it's not good. <laughs> I'm just mad that Nintendo got me to play 1-2-Switch again.